each race. Thousands of seconds, thousands of chances to call it quits. Each athlete makes their own moment and is trained to push through the pain. Fatigue doesn't care if you're a celebrity or a weekend warrior. The Nautica Malibu Triathlon provides the roadmap. You have to do the rest. In 2008 marks the 22nd time the Nautica Malibu Triathlon presented by Toyota has taken place. Malibu is known for its movie stars and palatial mansions, and our athletes today get to see both. Pre-dawn preparations are essential in this sport. Often the best can do them in their sleep. Over 3,000 people have congregated on Zuma Beach, including Jennifer Lopez and Matthew McConaughey. Right now, let's check in with my partner Kevin Delaney, who's positioned himself near the start. Making our way to the start line, it's time to get rid of those pre-race jitters and get focused on the day to come. Three events make up triathlon, the swim, the bike, the run, today's swim a half mile through some decent surf and that's going to be challenging for these athletes. Transition to the bike, 18 miles down Pacific Coast Highway to Leo Carrillo State Park. Bring it back and get into your run. Four miles down the beach, a looping course, first one to the finish line, champion. And of course, all for a good cause. The amount of money raised for Children's Hospital Los Angeles is the purpose behind this race. Everyone is contributing to the cause, whether an athlete or corporation, eagerly waiting to shoulder the responsibility of making sure others less fortunate get taken care of. As long as, uh, as some kids are getting something out of this, it gives me a reason to roll out of bed in the morning. <laughs> I'm nervous, I'm excited, it's, which is fun. I didn't think I would, you know, at 37 years old with two kids and you got your career and all that stuff, it's like, what do you, you know, but you still get excited about this, this is cool. And the charity part is, is ultimately the most important part. Uh, Personally, I've been involved with this event since the 80s, and Mike Epstein and his group, they do an incredible job. They've raised money for pediatric AIDS and now Children's Hospital. These guys are sensational. Everyone's agenda includes the motivation to help others. And the atmosphere here only adds the participants' excitement. Honestly, they just keep me sane, and I, and I love to go and work out out, outside, but it's nice to have a goal. You know, and I just love all the triathletes. I love this whole beehive energy. I, tri triathlons have just become a major part of my life. It's either that or therapy, right? <laughs> I just love coming to Malibu. Coming from Australia, I used to read about this place in, in the magazines, and, and the Beach Boys used to sing about it in their songs. So it's just fantastic to be in L.A., and, and to support an event like this is always wonderful. So it's great to be here. All right. With thousands of people milling about the starting area, it's the pros who have earned the honor of hitting the surf first. No one has a bigger target on his back than Australian Chris McCormack. He's the defending Ironman world champion, so his presence here probably means he's looking for a little tune-up or speed work before heading to Hawaii. The 35-year-old has won almost every triathlon on the planet. And he knows that this run into the surf can either put you in a position for praise or set you up for failure. Besides the inshore holes, the waves will separate the swimmers rather quickly. The wetsuits which most are wearing make you more buoyant, which means it's harder to head out through the surf line. The LA County lifeguards vigilantly standing watch should anyone get into trouble. But in this group, trouble is usually defined by allowing your competitor to get too big a lead. The fewer around, the clearer the sailing, and a chance to speed through the beginning portion of the swim. Back on shore, the anticipated start of the Celebrity and Challenged Athletes Division. This is the group that draws the crowds, a chance for the spectators to get close to their favorite movie stars. But usually, the stars have other things on their mind. Let's check in with Kevin. So, uh, Matthew McConaughey getting ready. Pre-race jitters alive and well. I've never done this before, man. This looks like a hoot, man. Well, it's a good swell run, and you got to be comfortable these days after all your paddling. Looks like a good time to surf maybe when it's over. Now, this looks pretty cool. I'm watching where they're heading now. It's a long swim to that third pylon. you got to keep uh, those other heels out of your face, all right? Take care of yourself That's out there. Here, man. Wish me luck, man. Have all a right. good one. Thanks a lot. Hey. Okay. 
They may dominate the headlines and look larger than life on the silver screen, but for the most part, in triathlon, these racers constitute the weekend warriors. But that doesn't let them off the hook any easier. They've got to complete the same course as the pros, as do the challenged athletes, facing obstacles from the gun that most of us don't even consider. Overcoming obstacles is a cornerstone of Michael Epstein's philosophy. He uses his races to help as many people as possible. The latest beneficiary, Children's Hospital, Los Angeles. Our institution is in the position to really be one of the key contributors to gain a complete control over childhood cancer. We've made tremendous progress in the past 30 or 40 years going from 10 to 20 percent survival for these children to 80 percent, but we have quite a long way to go. This laboratory is the uh, gene chip laboratory and it focuses on identifying genes in cancers that can be used either to identify what kind of a cancer it is, predict how aggressive the cancer is, or ultimately uh, identify new targets for treating the cancer. The money from the triathlon will support the structure that helps us conduct the research that's going to find the answers. There is no greater thrill than to see a child grow up who you have been able to successfully treat. That's really a, a tremendous source of inspiration and satisfaction for all of us. It's easy to find the motivation when you know you're racing for such a great cause. The pros have spread themselves out considerably along the course heading north towards the exit area. The final critical clause in this part of the race, wave riding and exploding out of the ocean. For some, however, the day has just begun. Triathlons, by definition, are three disciplines, but you could argue there's a fourth, the transitions. Focusing on this part of the race can often make or break the day. In the swim, the transition really starts with the run up the beach. Chris McCormick, or Maka, is in a familiar position, the lead, while others are still battling the surf in the hopes of keeping close to the Aussie. Ready to initiate phase two and fire up the booster rockets, Maka is certain to excel on this bike course. When we come back, our athletes dry their gills and try their hand at the Pacific Coast Highway. The 2008 Nautica Malibu Triathlon is brought to you by Nautica. Shop Nautica.com. By Toyota. Toyota, moving forward. And by Paul Mitchell. Remember, only your salon can guarantee the real Paul Mitchell. Everyone's talking about navigation systems, Bluetooth, and MP3 technology. But it's really about the small things. Left turn. The things we never think about, yet desperately depend on. It's the things that make a Camry a Camry.